everybody, welcome to Candace's studio. Today I'm going to be teaching you some tips and tricks that I usually use while I glaze my paintings. So sit back and enjoy. So I'm just going to be briefly showing what we are working with today. I'm using Burnt Umber by Winsor & Newton. I think that Winsor & Newton is a great oil paint. Here is my blending and glazing medium. It is a good size. I like it. It's, it's workable. The thing about using mediums is that you kind of have to be careful because it is very fluidy and it can get everywhere. There's also some good things about it. It is malleable it you can easily wipe it off but you just got to be careful basically this medium just reduces the consistency and slows the drying now be sure to shake it before you use it this is a great great brush it is a Raphael and it is a precision brush as you can see it has a very fine point and it's wonderful to get into those detail like places. It's long. I always recommend using a long brush. This next brush that I'm going to be showing you is going to be a flat brush. It is a Princeton brush. I have used this ultimately to paint my entire painting and that's what I'm going to be using primarily to glaze it as well. So we use these mediums to include more transparency in the oil paints. It allows there to be more translucency and for you to be able to see those values underneath. So essentially what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be observing the darker values within this painting that I already have initiated and just emphasizing them even more. With the burnt umber that I have taken, I've diluted it with the glazing medium and I've made it kind of like a watery consistency. And I'm just going to be going over those places that I think needed need more depth. The wonderful thing about glazing is that it's kind of like you aren't committing to it. The medium allows you to work with it more. The painting in itself is already dried, but the medium kind of adds this fluid-like consistency to the paint that you have more freedom. The wonderful thing about this is that oil paint in itself is going to work with you. It, it doesn't dry it doesn't dry uh, like acrylic paint does and and that's why it's been that's why I have been able to achieve these 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 different colors in this painting as well. The purpose of me glazing in this particular glaze the, the reason why I say that is because there's going to be multiple layers. This is my demo of just the first layer, but essentially what I'm trying to do is, of course, create depth, but also to to lead up to the, the boldness of the color itself. The point of glazing is not only to increase that, that, that value or to, to deepen it, but also to, to bring more richness to the painting as well. And oil paint, I think is just, I know I keep talking about it, but I just think it's so wonderful. It, it is so rich and beautiful. Also keep in mind the dimensions that you're working with. This painting is not very big at all. And the reason being is because it's a 
commission for somebody that had specially requested the dimensions to be that way, so that's what I went with, but also glazing on a small painting, painting in general on a small canvas is not necessarily easy, nor is it recommended by me. The braid mates may seem a little bit fuzzy from, from your perspective, and that's okay. Now, with, with me um, consistently pushing this burnt umber glaze over the braid, it's going to kind of define that a little bit more. It's going to be a little bit more I identifiable. It's not going to seem out of focus as much as it probably does right now. The purpose of me trying to go for the ultimate shapes in the hair, um, and, and when I say shapes, I mean those those strides, strokes of burnt umber within the hair, is because I'm trying to make sure that the big idea is captured. I, I obviously I'm not going to be doing every single strand of hair. That that would take literally forever. But I'm just trying to go for the overall shape. Whatever it may be in the painting, I am trying to get into those crevices, however tiny they may be. Um, I'm just trying to push it and push it further as I, as I possibly can. Just kidding, this is the first layer. I got many more to go. I found my content helpful or useful, whatever it may be. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. You know you want to. You know you want to help a sister out. Just go ahead and do it. It's not that hard. All you're doing is helping the art community, helping it flourish, helping it grow. It's a baby. It's a baby boy. <gasps> Whoa. He's so cute. He is so cute. Oh, oh kisses. The kisses. The kisses, baby.